I'm so sleep deprived. Some say the world's topsoil could be gone within 60 years, or that we only have 60 agriculture years left. Rest assured, these statistics don't actually have any scientific claim. Even if it's from a senior UN official, there doesn't seem to be any evidence. However, soil erosion is still a big problem, and I'm going to show you why. As calculating the lifespan of our soil is difficult and complex, a proxy has been used to substitute and infer the lifespan and health of our soil. The proxy calculates the net erosion rates of topsoil, which assesses the rates of topsoil thinning if soil erosion rates are higher than soil formation rates. With this proxy, we've found that 16% of soil are estimated to have a lifespan of less than 100 years, and half have a lifespan of greater than 1,000 years, and one third have over 5,000 years. So, 60 years agriculture years? A hoax. Soil erosion rates aren't static to a particular decade. But what exactly is soil erosion, and why is there a problem? WWF describes soil as the Earth's fragile skin that anchors all life on Earth. And as much as that is, well, deep, it might give a picture of what soil erosion looks like. Imagine your Earth, and your skin is the soil, and you're rubbing your skin really hard until there's very little or basically nothing left. Okay, that was a gory image. <laughs> soil erosion is mostly caused by deforestation, overgrazing, and the overuse of agrochemicals. Trees are crucial in holding soil together and plants, while in some environments do the job well, just doesn't hold it enough. Overgrazing reduces ground cover, an effect of the tragedy of the commons, which I will link a more in-depth explanation in the card and in the description. Some chemicals used for fertilizers or agrochemicals changes soil composition and disrupts the balance of microorganisms. Well, going back to the analogy, agrochemicals to the soil is like using well, chemicals on the skin. Ah, it burns, it scars. I really should have thought of a different analogy. <laughs> Soil erosion can, and have, caused all sorts of problems. It reduces healthy farming land, or arable land, reducing crop yield, and ultimately, food. With soil having less water retention capacity, it is less able to deal with intense weather changes, increasing flooding and drought. Poorer soil affects plant health and biodiversity, reducing the capacity to take in CO2. Furthermore, soil is a carbon sink, and eroding them releases CO2 and other greenhouse gases. Actions have been taken to reverse the impacts of soil erosion and to heal our soil. For one, organisations like WWF have conservation efforts to reduce deforestation, encourage afforestation and prevent desiccation. Making sustainable swaps to soil-friendly practices like no-tilling or polycultural farming practices are immensely beneficial in the agricultural sector. But I'm yapping about what big people do and what big companies should do. So the bigger question is, what can we do? Climate change and soil erosion have a positive feedback loop. That is, the more climate change worsens, soil erosion increases. So we do what we can do to reduce climate change. Consume less, especially if you know they are directly related to poor farming management, like palm oil, money talks, consumer talks. If we demand sustainable practices and eco-friendly products, they are going to supply them eventually. I usually end these videos with like a personal note or like nuance if you like academic language um, but when writing the script I felt like I didn't really have that much thoughts about it and like now recording I don't really have that many thoughts about it um, mostly because it feels so irrelevant and out of my depth um, the reason why I made this video was because um, a friend of mine and I had sort of a debate of sorts about the 60 year harvest claim and I was just not buying it I was definitely like surely this can't be on a global scale like you know some places might be struggling now some places might be struggling in the future um, some places might be benefiting from you know global warming like the UK agriculture would we'll probably see like an increase in productivity um, if there's some of the longer so yeah I wanted to look into it myself but I'm definitely not 
an expert on this topic. Um, and I definitely felt a bit inadequate writing the script in comparison to previous videos. Or I might just be sleep deprived. <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed or learned something new. And like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this. It really helps me out. Bye!